All right. Uh, it's Thursday. Today's been a pretty rough day. Uh, a uh, forklift hit my truck, our trailer. But before we talk about all the bad stuff, I just want to thank Marvin. He got me a, a cool shirt. Um, he's just signing on with Mercer, and he knew I was going to go get my truck inspected yesterday, so he uh, he was over there getting signed on, and uh, he found me, gave me that shirt. So I appreciate the shirt, Marvin. Thank you. Um, we went through inspection yesterday. I had a couple issues with the brakes on the trailer. They had to um, uh, replace the S-cam bushings. So the S-cam bushings were a little wore out. Uh, the guys over there got it fixed pretty quick, the guys that work on the trucks. Um, so we got that took care of. Uh, and then we booked a load late yesterday afternoon, like 10 to 5, um, out of Indiana going up to uh, up by Minneapolis. And then uh, we're going to load tomorrow, if it goes right, uh, outside of Minneapolis going to Tucson. And that's going to get me home because I'm getting ready to go on vacation here. Uh, in the middle of September so that's gonna get me home but today I was loading and uh, I picked up big transformers we'll go outside and take a look I just want to explain to you real quick and they used a big forklift there's one transformer that weighs about 13,000 pounds and uh, this this place they deal with transformers often but they had this big forklift but it was off-road forklift that uh, uh, it's got the little feet that go on the ground so they can lift things up. Well, when he approached the trailer, he put those little feet under the trailer. And then he set the uh, the uh, transformer on the trailer. He set the feet down and put the transformer on the trailer. Well, when he was getting ready to leave, he didn't realize, or he had forgotten, that he was still under my trailer. And he lift the feet up, hydraulically lift the feet up, and uh, it smashed my uh, my little rack that I have my side kit on in and uh, bent a bunch of the panels and everything. Um, he was cool about it. I didn't freak out. You know, stuff happens. Uh, they did assume responsibility and in the process of, you know, uh, getting reimbursed for it. But uh, it was a pain in the butt. You know, and the guy, the, the guy in the forklift, he was just as worried about losing his job as I was mad that he tore my trailer up. So, um, you know, it just, things happen split second. You know, it, it's all it takes, just split second. All right, let's go outside, take a look real quick, uh, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you what we got. We still have a long way to go. I'm making this quick. Um, we're gonna make our way over to Walcott, Iowa, the world's largest truck stop. Should be able to find some parking. It's pretty big over there. And then we got to make our way up to Minneapolis. we got to be up there tomorrow, hopefully around 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, so we definitely have our work cut out for us. All right, let's go outside, take a look, and then uh, we'll get going. Okay, we're out here at the rest area. Uh, we're in we're in Illinois right now. So here's a quick look at the uh, rest area here. That's a pretty big rest area. All that's parking over there, too. So we got plenty of room. Um, here's our load. We got a bunch of these little transformers and then this big one and this is the one That the damage to the truck and it's on the other side. So we're gonna go over there. That one weighs about 13,000 pounds um, Here I want you to take a look. This is what my panels look like. This side's fine. See how nice and straight and flat panels panels are at um, Just remember that because we're gonna go back to the other side and we got these back here. It was a little tricky training them down, but uh, everything looks like it's riding pretty good. Had to put a bungee on that door right there. Um, so you can see how we got them chained down here. Now the reason this one, the reason this one ended up in the back like that, was um, originally they had loaded them all. And then we had the big one in the middle, and then with that one towards the back. And these three little ones right here were all lined up. And then at the last minute, they said, oh, we got to put another one on. And instead of moving all that stuff, I just said, stick it on the back. Um, it, uh, there's about 36, 36,000 pounds, 37,000 pounds on the trailer axle right there. Total, total weight of the whole thing is about uh, 38,000. Now, 
this is what happened right here so you can see you can see how they're all bent and once they get a little bit of bow in there it just takes a little bit they won't slide down in the slot and you can see so he had that fork the, the forklift and it, those feet came in and he and I was watching him when he did it those feet go under there and I thought man that's not a good idea and uh, and I thought he was just gonna back out just like he pulled in but he wasn't paying attention and the feet were still under there and he raised them up and it just squished all that up in there you know some of that aluminum gave but as you can see they're all bent and see and see this little even this little bend right there they won't slide down into the slot so uh, we're uh, we're working on getting that uh, replaced or repaired so I don't know what I'm gonna do it uh, it's probably I mean Mercer's uh, you know the, the company is gonna assume responsibility for it um, it's just getting the right people to do the right thing at the right time so I can get paid uh, I'm not gonna get my money like tomorrow or next week could be months before I ever see the money for that each one of those panels each one of those little panels right there uh, it's $55 so these little each each one of those little panels right there is $55 so and, and once they get bent I mean there's really it it's just so hard to straighten them up to where they just slide down in there you end up fighting them forever but uh, I mean stuff happens you know the guy wasn't being reckless it just you know it just takes a split second for things to go wrong and that's what happened so uh, so anyway and let's go take a look I'll show you what I got fixed on the trailer and then we got to get out of here I still got about another uh, four four hours of driving today so hang on a second all right let's crawl under the trailer here and I'll show you guys what uh, what we got done so you can see the s cam so when the brakes that's the brake chamber right up in there so when the brake chamber, when you press the air, it pushes the air pressure, which pulls this lever. Let me stand this way. So it pulls, so the brake chamber right here, when you hit the brake chamber, it pushes that rod, which pushes the rod here. And then there's another rod in there that goes to the brake shoes. And there's what they call an S cam. And they call it S cam because it looks like this. And when you twist that, it uh that's what causes the uh the brake pads to uh go against the drums and what happens is that s cam was loose and so everything was moving when it hit the brake so i had that one replaced and then i had that one replaced up there um these right here that one and that one are still okay but but it's getting time that uh they need to be replaced soon, but for right now they do pass inspection. So, uh, so anyway. All right, uh, I'll talk to you guys when we get over here to Walcott. Um, like I said, we still got about a 200, 250 miles to go. So, uh, and then, uh, so it's gonna be a long night. So this is gonna be a short film, but uh, anyway. All right, talk to you guys later. All right, we made it over here to uh, Walcott, Iowa. We're at the world's largest truck stop. Let me see if you can see if this shows up in the camera there. You can see the sign. I know it's not very bright, but uh, we're parked way in the back. The truck stop's way up there. Let me pan around slowly, not to make anybody dizzy. And there we are, parked right there, looking ever so neat. That's the interstate right there. That is uh, Interstate 80, I-80. I parked over here because I wanted to show you guys these things. You see this right here? See those right there? That's the blade for a windmill. So let's walk over here and take a look at it. Now I've hauled the generator that goes in the top of the windmills that uh, that's, uh, goes to these. But uh, that's the big blade right there. Big stretched axle or stretched trailer. So you can see the different sections right here and they telescope out telescope out we'll walk down here real quick it's a long way i don't know that's got to be one two that's got to be over 100 feet 
I'm not too sure. I was looking to see if there was any markings. But a trailer, one trailer length is 53 feet. So or 50 feet. So that's gotta be that's gotta be about three trailer lengths right there. Let's back up a little bit so you can get an idea of uh what it looks like here. So you can see. Here I'm gonna stand up here on this brick so you can see how long they are. Let me walk over here just a little bit further. These are pretty interesting. You don't get to see these very often, so I was trying to get the a good view or how you can see all the so you can see all of them lined up there's about I think there's six of them lined up right there but uh, all right that's the end of the day um, we've already got our fuel we did our post trip inspection and um, now I'm gonna chop up this video go take a shower go to bed we're gonna wake up at precisely 10 hours and uh, hit it again we need to be up in um uh we're going to um farmington farmington minnesota which is just south of minneapolis so all right that's it talk to you guys later bye